Hello teachers, thanks for taking the time and checking out my retake policy. Let's go ahead and get started. My retake policy is in three steps. Step number one, students must complete all the required work for unit or learning target. So students are in their science notebook, have all their work, and I, I make it mandatory that all that work get done so they have the base knowledge and the base um, practice of the things that we've done in class. Step number two, students need to provide additional evidence of learning to me. And a big part of that is this thing called the learning target retake request form, which was adapted by the tutorial request form found from the AVID. So students fill out the front side and come to and must come to a tutor leap session and work on the back side. You can see my request form and this link in the bottom right, you're welcome to go visit. Basically the front half students do on their own and it's divided up into three parts to get students to kind of think about where they're at. What should I know? What do I know? What do I know and what don't I know? And students can then come with specific questions during a tutor leap session. In the tutor leap session, students are provided extra practice problems, encouraged to do test corrections and work together as groups um, and annotate notes based on the group discussions. There's also a self-reflection piece at the bottom. The last step for retaking a target, once students have completed all the work before, then they can come and they can get a retake ticket from me. They'll fill that out to let me know when they're ready and available to do that retake before the next unit test. And that then that can go in the testing center and be provided to them. Students must make that appointment with me and I must use this paper to have that paper trail to know when tests are completed and when I need to put them in the grade book. There are a few retake rules and guidelines that students need to follow and be aware of. The first off is that retakes for a particular unit are only available until the next unit test. We want to encourage students to make short term goals and not wait until the very end of the semester to be able to get all that stuff up. Retakes may not be taken on the same day tutoring was received by the instructor. It's more of a mental health piece for me. I can't get that thing right away to the testing center, but it does also kind of encourages students to know the information and not just regurgitate it on a test right after they learn it. Only the periodic table and calculator will be allowed on the retake, so we limit the amount of resources that they could use compared to the original test, again to encourage students maybe to do good on the first test the first time. Finally, no retakes will be accepted after the final retake deadline. And we put that date on their syllabus and let them know, you know, that there comes a point where everything needs done and turned in. As for grading, students receive the better of the two scores and encourage that growth and to let them know that they, they can do it and they can continue to try and we want to encourage them to do so. All right. Thanks again for checking out my take policy. Have a great day.